right, seventh grade lesson 119, division by zero. I want you on your calculator to type or to write this. Five divided by zero and tell me what you get. Error. Error. 230 divided by Z. What do you zero? What do you get? Error. Error. Guess what? You can't divide zero. Okay? You cannot divide by zero. Okay? Because if I had five somethings and I'm going to divide it zero times, well, then there's nothing you can do because we can't divide it. Okay? Because it's five. <laughs> okay? But let's flip it around. Zero divide. Zero. Zero on top always gives you the answer zero. Zero on bottom always gives you the answer arrow. Okay? So, any, if you had zero over one million, okay, um, guess what the answer is? Zero. Zero. Okay? Nothing is going to be divided a million times. It's still going to be nothing. Okay? Got it? All right. So, that's the first part of the lesson. The second part of the lesson is this. Even though we can't divide by zero, I want to show you something. Ten divided by one, what is the answer? Um, ten divided ten. by one is ten. Ten, okay? Now, I'm going to try to do zero, but remember I can't divide by zero, can I? No. Let's make it zero point one. Ten Will that work? Ten. Ten divided by zero point one? That's what it gave me. Try it again. A hundred. Hundred. Very good. All right, let's try to get even closer to zero. Zero point zero one. Zero point zero one. Thousand. Uh-huh. And what about 10 over, let's make it 0 0.001. 10,000. Very good. What do you notice is happening? Adding zero. Okay, so the further I get away from zero, okay, so this is zero and this is a tenth, so that would be like a dime. This would be like 10 cents, okay? This would be like what? One cent. Mm -hmm. This, we don't even have a coin for it, okay? Mm -hmm. But, you see how it's getting further and further and further away from zero? Mm -hmm. The one is? Yeah. It's still zero something, so we're not dividing by zero. We're just dividing by 0 0.01, 0 0.001. Each time, the numbers get bigger as we get farther away. See that? All right, let's try negative. If I said 10 divided by negative 1, it would give me a negative 10. If I said 10 divided by negative 0 0.1, it would be a negative 100. If I said 10 divided by 0 0.01, it would be a negative 1,000. And same for this one, it would be a negative 10,000. Okay? So as, as these get farther and farther away from 0, okay, this one, these get bigger. All right? Now... Let me see if there's anything else I need to say on that. Okay, so let's do one of these examples they have for us. If I were to ask you to graph this, y equals 12 divided by 3 plus x. Okay. Here's what it says. What number could we not use in the place of x? Um, 3. Well... 3 plus 3 equals 9, and 12 divided by 9 would give us something. 3 plus 3 equals 9? Yep. 3 plus 3 is 9. Oh, sorry, 6. <laughs> I did 3 times 3, sorry. Okay, so this will be 6. So this will be 12 divided by 6. That's going to be the answer, too. So that uh, works. Okay, okay. Zero. Okay, no, because 3 plus 0 would just give me 3. Oh, okay. okay. And then 12 divided by 3 would uh, be 9. Or, gosh, 4. 12? I'm not thinking correctly. 3 divided by 4. 
Okay. Anything higher than 12. So let me show you what the what x cannot be. X cannot be negative 3. You know why? Why? 3 plus negative 3 is what? Uh, negative 6. 3 plus a negative 3. A positive 3 plus a negative 3. It's negative 6. No. Nope. 3. Okay. 1, 2, 3. Plus negative 3. 1, 2, 3. 0. 0. Okay. Okay. So, if 3 plus negative 3, the answer is going to be 0. And can 12 to the 0 on the bottom work? No. You cannot use 0 on the bottom, remember? What do you get on your calculator? Error. Error. So, the question was, what can x not be? And x can be any number except this. Because if it's a negative 3, then 3 plus negative 3 equals 0, and it no longer works. It's an error. So do you understand that? Mm -hmm. What if this was 6 plus x? What would you do? What uh, can x not be? Anything negative, right? No. Just one it can't number. Be zero. I mean, it can't the, be a... What equals 0 right here? 6 plus what? What, do you mean? what equals 0? Negative 6. Very good. So if it's 6 plus negative 6, that would give us a 0. And 12 divided by 0 is error, right? Mm -hmm. So what can x not be? X cannot be a negative 6 because then we get a 0 as an answer. Okay. You can't have that. So when they're asking you what can this not be, you have to think they're saying what equals 0, basically. Okay? So, the way you say that is x cannot equal, see how I did the cannot equal? Negative 6. Cannot equal. Got it? Okay. That is lesson 119.